It was a bright and sunny day. Harry was playing outside. Suddenly, it started getting cloudy. It got darker and darker. He looked up at the sky and saw grey clouds gathering. Suddenly, he heard a loud sound and saw the sky light up he felt something wet fall on his face mummy mummy he ran inside screaming mummy i think the sky broke and now it is leaking he said he hugged his mummy tight Mummy laughed and said, "No, Harry, the sky did not break, nor is it leaking. The grey clouds are a sign that it is going to rain. Right now, it is drizzling. But I heard the sky break, Mummy." There was a loud sound and and light coming from the sky said Harry That's because the clouds bang against each other Harry The light that you see is called lightning The sound that you hear is called thunder Just then it started to rain heavily. So the sky won't fall on me asked Harry. No son, does that mean I can still play outside asked Harry. You can play outside Harry, but you will first have to wear your raincoat and gum boots or you will get wet said mummy harry put on his raincoat and gum boots he ran outside and opened out his hands oh it feels wonderful mummy He jumped in the puddles of water and laughed as the water splashed around. "Mommy, you should come out too. It's fun," called Harry. A little while later, 
Harry saw Mummy come out with her raincoat and an umbrella. Yay! Mummy is going to splash in the puddles with me. After some time, it stopped raining. Mummy said, Let's go in and wash ourselves. I will make some hot chocolate milk for you. Hot choco milk? Yummy! Mummy and Harry returned home. Mummy and Harry sat near the window. Harry had hot chocolate milk while Mummy had a cup of tea. They both were enjoying their drinks when a colorful band appeared in the sky. What's that, Mummy? asked Harry. That is a rainbow, Harry. When light passes through tiny drops of rain in the sky, we see seven pretty colors that form a rainbow. They both happily stared at the rainbow. Now that we have learned more about rain, there's also a poem in our uh, Gulmohar Language for Life book on page number 31. Let us turn to page number 31 and try to read that poem. Okay, children, it's simple. You can read along with me. Turn to page number 31. Pitcher patter rain drops falling from the sky. Here is my umbrella to keep me safe and dry. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, little flower starts to bud and grow and grow and grow. Now, point your fingers to the sentence that we are reading. Okay? Read along with me. Pitter patter rain drops falling from the sky. Here is my umbrella to keep me safe and dry. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, little flowers start to bud and grow and grow and grow. This is a poem about rain. Raindrops make pitter patter sound when they fall from the sky and hit the ground. The little boy says that when it rains, his umbrella keeps him safe and dry. After it stops raining, the sun comes out. As the sun shines brightly, buds begin to grow into flowers. There are flowers everywhere. Understood children? This is about the poem, the rain. Now, let us try to look into the rhyming words that we have in the first stanza. Now, can you guess? Generally, the rhyming words uh, you can find at the end of the sentence. Here, pitter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here is my umbrella to keep me safe and dry. So, sky and dry are the rhyming words. Very good. Next one. Next stanza. When the rain is over, the sun begins to glow. Little flower starts to bud and grow and grow and grow. So, what are the rhyming words that we find in this stanza, children? Yes, it's glow and grow. Good. Now, turn to page number 32. Understanding the poem. A mean. Answer these questions. First one. 
what is falling from the sky they are asking what is falling from the sky so how should we answer in a complete sentence so what is falling from the sky children raindrops correct raindrops are falling from the sky second one what does the umbrella do the umbrella keeps the boy dash and dash what is it yes safe and dry what happens when rain is over they are asking what happens when the rain stops what will happen when the rain is over the sun begins to glow and little flowers start to bud that's it words in use match the things in a to the sound words in b first one rain what sound does the rain make children it's pitter patter yes let us join the dots got it we are marking to the third one that is the c pitter patter second one clock how does the clock sound have you heard it has three hands right the third hand that is the second hand will make a sound it is called tick tock yes tick tock tick tock this is how the clock makes the sound third one wind shh whoosh have you heard it yes the wind the blowing of the wind makes a sound that's called whoosh whoosh so can we draw a line to match them yes next one car horn how does the car horns horn sounds it's is it ding dong or honk honk it's honk honk yes next bell how does the bell sound children when somebody comes to your house and rings the bell how does it sound ding dong yes let us mark it got it that's good that's it for today see you in next class jai gurudev